All right, good morning, Puff family. On our way to a new job site, if you've been keeping up, you saw yesterday, <clears throat> we wrapped up with a job, a two-day job that paid out $2,350. Incredible, it's my uh, highest paying job to date. Really hyped on it, especially coming to the end of the slow season, I sure can use that money. And hopefully you guys see, I mean, it's not easy money, but it's money and it's good money. So if you're thinking about getting started with your own window cleaning business, get off your ass and go do it, dude. Nothing's stopping you except yourself. All you need is a little bit of confidence that you got what it takes and you can do it. Today we'll be pulling up. We're gonna go and do the inside and outside of a residential, a residential home along with the screens. And then we'll be pulling up on one of our regular clients and doing her exterior windows, light fixtures, and we clean the outside of the gutter because there's this dirt that builds up on them and I do it every couple months, so. Hope you guys enjoy, make sure you like and subscribe and if you need to purchase any window cleaning products, please do so through the link in my bio and I'll also put it in the description unless I forget. All right, I don't really have a tripod, but we're gonna flip our rubber around. Make sure it's extra fresh while we're on this job today. Always remember you could flip your rubber and get use out of both sides. I'm using the uh, Unger Ergotech Ninja. Love this squeegee. And as always, we have our pro shoe covers for working inside. All right, let's head inside. Got all done with the inside. Didn't get any footage, but I don't really like filming inside too often because I don't like you know, it's very personal being inside someone's home. Took us about 50 minutes. Year two doing this is just going great because the type of job like this used to take me like four hours. I think I'm going to do it in two. So we're going to pop the screens out and clean those outside windows and screens and we'll be out of here in probably like an hour and a half max. So this is as good an angle as you're going to get. I'll show you how I remove screens. I use this painter's tool. I'll take one hand, I'll push up where the springs are and then I'll just hook this guy in at the bottom or side, pull it out, and then use my hand to push up, pop the other side out, easy. Also always being mindful of the plant life, making sure you don't damage anything. And if there's trees or rose bushes that make the windows really inaccessible, you could always charge a little extra. So I had someone in the comments ask me what ladder I use. I use the little giant multi 17, 17 feet. I'm actually surprised. I thought it was a little taller, but man, this gets the job done for most. It's a bit of a challenge getting on some second story roofs because I have to sometimes use it to get on the first floor roof and then put it on the first floor roof to access the second story. Ah, thank you. Would you like a card? Yeah. Yeah, let me come over there. Perfect. One of the neighbors came out, asked for an estimate, and we just locked in another job for the end of May. Finished up at our first job site for today. We charged $195. They gave us a tip, so we got $215. Took us just under two and a half hours, so we averaged about $86 per hour. It would have been done a little quicker than that even, but the neighbor across the street hollered out at me, said I was doing a good job. I asked if she wanted a card. She said yes. Asked if she wanted an estimate. She said yes. And we went ahead and booked another $100 job for the end of May. It'd be super quick. She hardly had anything at all. And it's funny because she said that my prices are really cheap, whereas I've had people in the past tell me I'm too expensive. You're gonna get it all across the board, guys. Um, stick to the people who say you're cheap because they're a lot easier to work with and they're generally a lot happier and less complaining about things so on to the next job site let's get it
All right, guys, we're all wrapped up. We have made $395 for the day. This job paid $180. Took us about two hours, so made about $90 an hour. Overall, from when we pulled up to the first job site and then did that job, drove over here and finished up this job, it's been five hours. So we averaged $79 an hour today, which is solid. And I'm clocking out after a five hour day with 395 bucks. I'll see you guys next time.